back, hey fam, listeners to 189.16 The Scream, where in today's video, we are going to uncover the whistling killer no matter what. All right, here we go. We already got a caller on the line waiting. Could be someone in need of help. Hit the button. Oh, we I'm have trying. a caller. Folks. Okay. Don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's all I'm going to say about I that. I guess we don't like Pawnee too much, do we? Mm, okay. Moving along. I'd like to welcome another caller to okay. 189.16, The Scream, yes, yes. with me, Forrest Nash. Okay. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Is that Dawn? Dawn. Ah, I bet I know why you're calling. Oh, I got I'm the record. sorry I didn't play your song. There's we a got it. lot going on. Wait. But please. I never one? mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling Wait. because I need your help. Wait, I got the record though. Oh. Uh... Are you in danger? Are you in danger? Oh, I sure am. Do you mean... Yes, he's after me now. You? I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. You didn't really help me though, did you? Uh, right. right. Okay. Tell us everything. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next. After Chuck. Oh, right. What happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system has me locked out. I need you to help me get inside. Remember in the last video we found that override uh, paper? I bet. I bet. Don't you have a key to We're get We gotta in? go down to the basement to get the paper, the I bet. Apartment door. Watch. The front gate requires an entry code. The future is electronic, I guess. Yep. That code to get inside. We need an Which override code. Block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the New Woodside apartment building between Town Hall and the trailer park. There's a train. I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. Shit. Wait, that's Clock Road? Is it like up here or something? Um, not a dog person? Uh, I'm guessing you're not a dog person. No, I'm not. It's my neighbor's dog. The rollerblade dude. I wish he must Max. Have thing and, oh. and now he's blasting David Scobo out of his window. It's gotta be Max. Max and uh the the roller uh, roller skate Ricky or something. Roller Ricky. He's coming down the street. Oh, steps. What? Well, hang up the phone and just hide in the bush. I need the code for that security system, or I'm gonna die. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It Star says Starling Security 4000. There's a keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. Uh. We'll try. <sighs> we'll see what we can do. Thank you, Forrest. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. You're welcome. I could count That's on it. You. Why is that music playing? Is that from Call her? Back soon. Okay, that was from her. I, I, I didn't know all what right, it was. Alright, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to We'll play Dawn's song. While I try to break Dawn into her apartment. Okay. It's gotta be that override you thing in the basement. You were quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me? Or was there something... Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird about that. Yeah. Well, tell you what, we have a Starling 4000 or whatever here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. I knew it. Maybe we can find something to help. Yeah, I already know where it is. I'm not sure who, but to help someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it, Peggy. Come out of the way. Trust me. <sighs> okay, oh. so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments and somewhere Clive I already probably know. has the papers for the Starling 4000. I already know because I picked it up last video and said this looks important. I remember doing that. All right, just down here into the creepy basement. I gotta navigate to the back. I think it was way back here. There is a good chance last time I played this, I put it somewhere stupid and I might not ever find it. Oh, I found it. Okay. Starling 4000, user manual. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. These codes should come in handy. I feel like these codes are kind of dangerous though, right? If you have a security system, that has like some kind of reset code on it. Um, 
wouldn't that be bad? Because if someone has the manual like I do right here, I could just break it to your house. Hello, it's me. I'm back. I have a manual this time. Peggy? Welcome back, Forrest. Yep. Find anything? The Starling okay. 4000 Maintenance security alarm. Manual. It's got a bunch of codes. The activation. Good. And, and did you find anything else? Wait, nothing. Except the, back the manual. Of it. All right. Well, I'll get Dom back on the line then, Forrest. I'll let you take it from here. Thanks, Peggy. Yep. Put this down. When you're Stop ready, music. shut the music off. I know line how this one, works, Peggy. Whenever you're ready. We're like five videos deep now. Come on. Done. Are you there? This is Forrest now. Save it. Ash from 189.16. Just a The Scream. Oh, thank God you're back. <sighs> I'm so afraid. What's the code to the gate? 715914? Wait, why would I give anything else? Wait, should I deactivate the alarm first? Yes. The code is 811220. Thank you, Forrest. The alarm has already deactivated. The alarm deactivation? Oh, I think you gave me the wrong number on purpose. Well, I'll just do this the hard way. Forrest, what did we do? What? I'll hunt you down, I... Oh, Maxie. Oh. Ricky. That's really loud, though. Ricky. Hello. Hello. Horse? Is that you? That's a, you that was a lot of alarm. <laughs> Ricky, whoever that was, she was trying to get into the building. Wait, is Maxie alive? to help, but... What? That was a whistling man. Huh? The alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. Oh, man, I... Maxie, I'm coming, buddy. Forrest, I've got to go. I've got to go. Come on, Maxie. Stay strong. Okay, Gallows Creek. Here's some music while we process what just happened. If I gave them her a uh, dawn, they're, they're killing the alarm code instead of the deactivation, would it have gone off and saved Maxi? Okay, this time, I'm saving the dog. I don't give a darn. The dog will live. The code is 191519. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome, Don. Teehee, teehee. Get on, idiot. A shout? This is different. I'm gonna back up, because that's really loud. Is she? Wait. I heard gunshots. Yeah, stay out. Nobody disrespects the sanctity of the ring. Yo. Don't ever come back here again. I'm calling the cops. Good idea, roll a rookie. Wait, Thank I have God. the cops. Hello? Is someone there? It's me. Ricky, get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him. That was the whistling man. Well, I have an idea now. The alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. I don't like hurting folk, but I can't let anything happen to me. I don't blame me. you one bit, bud. You know? I... Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. Gonna barricade that window. Copy. My man, thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever yes. you want, forever. That's a done deal. All right. Hey, thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. You got it. Talk to you soon. Okay. Okay, we said the dog. Speak. That's all Here's that matters. Music while we process what just happened. So Dawn is a guy. Dawn is the killer. That's weird. I didn't expect that. How would you even know? Like, I was trying to do this logically as if Dawn was trying to survive. So I thought, oh, I better deactivate the alarm because I guarantee you that's going to go off when she enters the real code. Come on, Forrest. Put some Sorry. music on already. You're right. Sorry. I guess we're so done with this. the whistling man is a woman? 
Didn't they say that in my first video? So what if it's a woman? Um, I, I had my suspicions. I had my suspicions. I actually did. Yeah, sure, Forrest. You just never mentioned I, I it. I did mention it. I did say that. She called up. You spoke to her multiple times. Uh, I knew she wasn't right. I thought she was just a regular. I knew she wasn't I right. I knew she wasn't right. Yeah. Is that right, Sherlock? Well, I mean, she did Why try to- Why do you think she requested that song? Actually. Hmm. To get me outside? No, that doesn't make sense, though. She had me outside. We even seen her through the chain link fence, and she didn't kill me. For me to leave the back door open. It's unlocked right now. Outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. Oh, true. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Yeah. Okay, kill the music, and you can make the announcement. Okay, you're live in three, two... Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Yeah. Here's our take. Okay. We now believe the killer is actually a woman. One who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. Yes. We're neighbors look out for each other, stay safe. I'm sad to say this, but it's time to trust no one. Stay safe. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. Uh, this could be a fake name. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please would... call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. I wonder if Dawn is... Hey, we had a call come in. The daughter... Okay, folks, time to take a call. ...of the real killer. And she's carried on his legacy? Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Murphy? Damn yeah, straight. What's going on, Murphy? You in danger again? No, nah, man. I've just been listening to the show here at home. And since you asked folks to call in if they could help out, well, I'm calling. Thank you for I doing that. I don't know if I can say as much as other folks have, but uh, I figure I wouldn't be a good role model to Fernando if I didn't try to help, you know? They spelled appreciated wrong. Uh, you're a good father. You're a good father, Murphy. Absolutely. Fernando's a lucky kid. Oh, yup. Thanks. So, uh, what do you want to know? Well, what can you tell us? I wonder who the killer is. I don't know, really. All right. Well, do you know anything about the death of George Barrow? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Okay. What about the killer herself? Herself? <laughs> Man, I, I didn't get my ass kicked by a lady. The man I went toe to toe with was a man, man. You heard the last call, right, Murphy? Yep. So you know it's a woman, and you were I got it. by a VHS, I got Murphy. it! I figured it out! I, I, I figured it out! I'm a genius! Man, how could it have been a woman There's under that two. mask? Let's just move Killers. on. Killers! Do you know anything about the history of the Whistling Man? No, sir. Tonight's the first time I ever heard of him. What? I moved here three years ago, man. Freaking what genius. What you want from me? Freaking genius. I'm a freaking genius. There's two killers. That's how they're getting around the town so fast. That's how they're getting around. That's how she could be over there at this side of the map, killing someone, and then over here teleporting to man and woman. Wait, what was that? What did he say last? No worries. Hey, man. No worries. Just thank you for trying. Right. Sorry I couldn't help you all more, man. I am now, right, right? If you'd have asked me two about killers. gators. Forrest, we have a call coming in. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Everybody, everybody, in your places, in your places. Right uh, uh, all right, all right. This is it. I'll catch y'all with the gator talk later. Not. Well, folks, that was a bust. But perhaps our next caller Ooh. has more they can tell yeah, us. Yeah, the chills. Let's find out. Okay. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Please help me. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Okay, this is it. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. 25 Nancy Drive. He's bleeding everywhere. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Okay, here's Nancy Drive. I don't know which one is 25. I'm I'm going to guess this greenhouse right here. Maybe. Okay. Uh, 
okay, uh, what happened? Somebody's been stabbed. Can, can you tell me what happened? Let's we get every the detail. Reservoir. We were heading back to his place. Out the we reservoir. Heard this whistling all of a sudden. He just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that. And I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Okay. Oh no. Forest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. It sounded like he might have known the person. And they just stabbed him. Was it a woman? Casey, was he talking to a woman? I don't know. They had a mask and wore all black. What's the whistle, man? I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but okay. I need to know. Is he Where still did alive? Where the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. They stabbed him to bleed what? out? Does Why it, didn't does she make sure he was dead? Does he still have the knife? I don't know. That's evidence. I think I heard them say something like, it's not so funny now, is it? Before they left, but... Please, he needs to get to the hospital. The last ambulance was blown up last I video, I'm sorry. Drive, so we need an ambulance. We got that. Forrest, the ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. Okay. Um... What is his name? What's your friend's name, Casey? It's Jason. Jason Parker. Okay. Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach and then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground and it's... Oh, the knife is still there in his leg. The knife is still we'll there. right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. That's Phoning St. Gabriel's right? now. Switch the to killer line wears two. Gloves. The killer probably wears gloves. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. Forrest, you're a normal voice. We have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. Yeah, I know. But please, we need something or he's going to die. Uh, Forrest, I... Listen, you're going to have to get him here. Oh! We need to I... see him and we can't get there ourselves right now. I thought you we wanted don't to go out there and do it. have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping buy the blood first time. and then finding someone to stabilize him. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. Me neither. I actually do. Uh, damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can and then leave the rest to you. You think you can handle that? Hit me. I'm we sure did. we can handle it. We got it. Okay. From the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the uh -huh. affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Right. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slow. Are you taking notes? Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, right? Correct. If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, do don't not pull it out. Take it out. Okay. It's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. Right. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense though. God, that was a lot of info. But I think we can handle this. Glad you got it so far because there's more to go. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Keep going. I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need I'm to listening? know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. If he does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of right. it. Right. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. Okay. <sighs> All right. I got it. Uh, don't replace bandages. We got it. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm. Why would we be writing calm. this down? This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you right now. Oh, sad. Try to stop the bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. All right, Forrest. Casey's still on line one. Just a case. Hello? Okay. Oh, Forrest, are you there? It's me, it's me. Casey, come back. Oh, how are you holding up? Where are you? How is Jason? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. But he's still bleeding. Okay. I don't know what to do. You gotta keep the pressure. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his Leave leg? it down. It's gotta be hell. Should I pull it out? No, 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 no. Don't touch the knife. No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're yeah, yeah. all going to get Jason through this. Casey, also, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. We need to secure the knife. But don't touch it. I don't want fingerprints on that. I think we need to secure the knife so it I doesn't don't want move killers around. On it. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some laundry piled up okay. on top of the truck. Okay. Some cloths on the hood of the car. And what else? I guess I've got my jacket. I feel like laundry would be better. The cleaning rags are probably already dirty if they're on top of a car. Here's the laundry. Laundry's probably the cleanest. Look in the laundry for something like a towel or a shirt. Hold that over the wound. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to buy you some new whites, Jason. I think Jason's Here okay with go. that. He's still alive, I can hear him. It's not a prank. Sorry, Jason. It's secure. I'm putting pressure on his stomach again. Copy. Oh, I'm starting to think we might make it. Forrest, can I have a word? Casey, I'm gonna have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on. I don't know if that was the time, Peggy. Let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? He'll be He'll fine. Still be here. Just shout if you need anything, and we'll be there. I promise. Okay. I'll wait. Jason, please be okay. He was still alive because I heard the grunt. Oh, Peggy. Uh, yeah. What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. I know. What if other people need us? <sighs> You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. She'll have to drive him. Somebody new. She would have driven him already if she could. I got to think about this. Because this, I mean, this could make a difference. I don't know. Uh... Nobody's nearby. They would have heard her yelling. She would have driven already. She could. Helicopter? Any suggestions, Peggy? I might. A little oh. before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Peggy? Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. You skipped it, didn't you? Yep. I, never mind. So, Make sure how we're not in the air. first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yes. Yeah. Why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel Karen? info is probably in Reggie's office. Reggie's office? Good. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. Here we go. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, uh... Go on. Go on. It's sensitive information, so Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note-taker, though. I feel like I saw that before. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Right. There is something else. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Have you ever heard, the future is floppy? No. Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Oh. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that have information on them. Oh, we're back in the 87s. put them in a computer I and forgot. they do something. Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records I'm replacing them with these floppy disks. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, okay. I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. <sighs> okay. 
I just have to look around. All right, we got this. No big deal. No big deal. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, let me out, please. Peggy, slide the key faster. Yeah. I'll patch my mic down to the office so you'll hear me over the intercom. Copy that. Thank you. All right, grab the key. Let's get to it. She said it was downstairs, right? I don't remember any more. Oh, there's probably more doors back here. All right. Staff. That's the broom. Oh, it's probably this one. It says private. It has a little businessman on it. Okay. Looks like he has a map as well. First aid to the injured. Wait a minute. Hold on. Call this person Reginald Scott. Right? Reginald Scott. Let's remember that name. Just in case it comes up later. Remember Reggie Jr.'s birthday is 9 10 not 10 9 Last year was a disaster. One day after I was born. 9 10 10 9 Is that the code? Alien sightings. Uh, 12.45 a.m. Oh, snaps. Clive, if you're reading this, stop stealing my post-it notes. Clive, you little guy. Ask Jeannie where those tapes are. It's been weeks now. Insert floppy disk. Uh... Can I inspect it? No, you can't see anything. Uh, stick it in there. Look at this old computer. Could this be it? I don't... Can I use the phone? Never mind. Oh, uh... Look for numbers? Oh, jeez. Uh-oh, it takes place on 11... Blah, 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 blah. 11.07? Where even is the safe? Oh, I found it. Very important date. Very important date. 0910? That's a birthday, 0910, right? Nope, that's not working. Oh, wait, but Let's she... Let's do something else. They put... Let's do 1009. Let's try this. Huh. Oh, wait, hold on. It says right here. Takes place on 1107. Very important date. For the town. 1107. 1109. Oh, let's go. That's a lot. Wait, hold on. We already know their name, though. Right? It's going to be Reginald's? Wait, this is a file of me. This is Forrest Nash. Hold on. Put that there. And... Wait, I don't see... I don't see Reginald in here. I also found Peggy. I'm just going to snoop a little bit. Just a pinch here. What's going on with old Peggy here? Hold up. Hey, Peggy. That's a lot of words. I think Reggie's on to you and Karen. Maybe don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a while. What? Why are you reading my file? I don't know. You find someone who can help Casey. We already know I can. Don't waste time. You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, I need to focus on possible candidates. I can read the I was hoping to see later. something juicy. This is not that juicy. This is just average stuff. What does my boss think about me? Get a load of this, Peggy. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf type. Oh! What are you doing? We don't have time for this. We have a man literally dying on the line, and we're more I'm... interested in you. You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. Yeah, you really shouldn't have. It says my demands are a bit beyond our means, and I'm currently blacklisted from any reputable station, but honestly, we don't have a reputation to lose. Why am I blacklisted? What did they do? What was that? What was that sound? I'm just trying to find out who has the, uh, the, the first aid. Wait, hold on. John refused to engage with the first aid trainer during the course. I know he was a war medic. He was a war medic? John apparently has a bunch of medical equipment in his home that he procured, he stole. Is it John? Um, I think I know who to call. I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I... Hello? Is anybody there? 
Oh, snaps. Please pick up. Casey, okay. I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. I tried to give him the rest, but he just threw up everywhere. I think he's going to the... What's happening? I don't what know. do I do? Oh. Um... I think he's going into shock. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Please seem to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, no. I'm sorry. You're going to mess up. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I So the next I up was to, to, to me, okay? like elevate the legs, right? What did the nurse say to do about shock? Elevate the legs. Casey, I need you to elevate Jason's legs. Right? We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Got it. Jason, stay with me. And then she said... I'm just gonna move you. This might hurt. She said not to put... Okay. Take the old bandage off. Put, put a new bandage on top of the bandage. My I don't remember what well, else she said after that. Jason as warm and comfortable as possible. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Yeah. I still have some laundry next okay. to Okay. I'll wrap him in some blankets. Right, I'm like a little, a like a little burrito. Sorry, sorry. Jason's bleeding through his bandage. Okay. Sh should I get him new? No, 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 no. Oh god. I remember. Uh, apply an additional. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. Do you still have something you can use? I've used the rest of the laundry to keep him warm, so I'll use my jacket. Okay. I can always get a new one. True. I mean, it sounds like it's working. It sounds like it's working. Sorry, sorry. I'm done. Okay. You're gonna be okay, Jason. Just relax now, okay? Sorry. I'm scared. You know, no, you're good. You're good. Stop doing well. Is he? Is he gonna? He's going to be fine. Jason is going to be fine. Just make sure he knows he's gonna be okay, okay? Okay. All right, Forrest, we need to hurry. Yeah. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too yeah. well. You said you knew who to call earlier? Who was it? John Hedges. We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yup. Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. All right. What's his number? Uh, oh. five four two zero seven three okay. five. I thought I was gonna ask. Oh, <laughs> I thought I needed to know that. Uh, who the hell is this? That was boy? quick. What time is it? John, it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency. Then it can wait until the it's not a, it's not a work emergency. Like no, 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 no. Uh, somebody has... I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man. Or... That's, that's not wrong. Never mind. He's lost a lot of blood, and he's passed out. We need you to help him. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is going to die if we don't help him right now. Seriously? Yes. Seriously. I haven't been called on for over 10 years. Well, get out there, guy. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. Leg and stomach. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg. And the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Copy that. Damned if he dies on my watch. Thank you, John. We'll let him know you're on your way. I think I think we did good. I think we did good. Hello, Casey, are you there? How are we doing? Bad. Oh. Jason seemed really weak and then just started fresh. Having a seizure? I guess just ask how he is now. What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out. Oh. We did. We got all Jason, the guy. help is on the way. You My drunk. colleague will be there soon. You hear that, Jason? Someone well, he's passed out. He doesn't hear you. You're going to be just fine. Just hold on for me, okay? Just hold on. Come on. Hello, 
Oh, John made it. I'm guessing that's Jason there. Casey, I'm gonna need your help. He's still Forrest, Peggy, don't you two worry. We've got this from here. Okay. Forrest, we'll call you back later. I have to go now. Good luck, everyone. God, I hope he's gonna be alright. Did I do it? <sighs> and with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. It sounds like I did it. Well, after all that excitement, I think upstairs? we could use some music. There's still more to do here. What? Come oh. upstairs when you're ready. I'm ready. I didn't get an achievement for saving, for saving him, for saving Jason. I almost always get an achievement. But I guess technically he's not saved yet because John is still fixing him up. Maybe there's more to that later on. I don't know. I'll just go for it and see what happens. Let's play some music. It's getting pretty late. Yeah. This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. My last Give break for the night? Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. I think they're saying we're in the end game. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. Let's roll. You got it. Okay. We've got another call coming through too. Oh, stats. Okay. When you're ready, shut the music off. Okay. Why, why do I even put the music on? Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. Okay. I believe we have another caller on the line. How are you tonight, caller? Forrest, it's me, Roller Ricky. Oh, oh and Maxie's oh. here too. Yeah, thank goodness. Good to hear from you. Good to hear from you again. How are you both doing? Oh, uh, we're good, man. Thanks to yep. you. You're like our guardian angel. We saved that dog. That wouldn't be a bad look for you, Forrest. A little hey, hey. white wing halo number. Thanks for saying that. Maybe something for the KFAM Halloween party. I needed to hear that today. All right, everyone. Oops. Let's calm down. Ricky, I'm just glad we could help you and Maxie. Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might help you. Oh, okay. Info from the attack? Did you see or hear anything during the attack earlier? Not exactly. You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. All right, and what does that have to do with tonight? Well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team, too. Oh. Keep talking. Keep talking. What happened? We had our first team party on the night he drowned. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, were you there when George drowned? No, man. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love, man. I could see it, you know? George and his girl? Dawn? What if George didn't die? No, they had the autopsy. What was her name? Ricky, please. What was her name? I never got her name, man. He just called her Bean. I, I didn't it's really a full-letter word. Or see her after that. Then Bean? what did she look like? Please, tell us anything you remember. Bean? I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Ricky, you said the party didn't last long. What happened? We were just having a good time. And then the next thing I knew... Everyone was running for their life. I looked up and saw a goddamn whistling man in the trees. He's on the trees now? And I never ran so fast in my life. Don't blame you. Straight home. Run a Ricky. He fast. I know about George until next morning at school. I'm Is that your fault? guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? That the whistling man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but... Uh, I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. And no. no, 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 no! It wasn't your fault, Ricky. It wasn't your fault. No, you're not, not a bad person. I know that now, ma'am. Took a long time to learn, but yeah, 
Just thought I'd tell you all what I know. Thank you, Ricky. This helps. Thank you. You got it, man. Anyway, I think it's time for me and Maxie to free up your phone line. I think so too, bud. Thanks for listening, man. I'll Thank you for the tips. Oh. Thank you for the help. Night, Ricky. Good night, Ricky. Good night, Maxie. All right, folks. Looks like we got a new so, lead in the case. Bean? If anyone has any info about this mysterious oh, the bean, please call in. If she was George's girlfriend back then. Does anything look like a bean? She's probably in her mid to Is it like a bean? Ant? This guy's name is Ant? Oh, we have another Ant's call coming in. Beans? But, but Bean was a girl. What's what? up, Peggy? 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 You're going to want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. What? All right, folks, it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. She sounds excited, so I don't think it sounds too dangerous. Hello? Forrest. Oh, it's Leslie. I'm glad I got back through to you. Sounds like it's been a busy night, huh? No, big time! Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator, leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. Okay. And we're happy to have you Great. too. Great! Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. <laughs> anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. Okay. Drama and theater. Oh, well, uh, sorry. Uh, it's been a long Ever night. since you found Sheriff Matthews, it's only gotten worse. I'm just looking for anything it's that has the word night. bean well, it on it. Well, shouldn't be too much longer now. I don't think Glad this is going to help. <laughs> I wanted to let you all know what's going on. Okay. I made it to Henderson. Okay, great. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines and they had no idea what was happening. Okay. After I told them, well, their sheriff sent a goddamn squad okay. to me to stop this. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Yeah. Do you think the whistling man cut them? And In Henderson? So, so they... I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. But There's gotta be two right people. Now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town. But if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. Yeah. That's where you come in. Okay. Uh, what do you, you need? count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. The whistling man already called up a few times. Listen in. I bet she calls again. We're still a little what ways out of town. So if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, Try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in. So once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. Okay. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Boris Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. We'll Make see out, you Leslie. soon, Leslie. I love you. God, it sounds like this is almost over. We're yeah. nearly through this. Thank goodness. Uh, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. The sooner this is over, the better. Yep. I am right. Trust I'm ready. me. Anyway, we should get you back on air. I am on air. Taking callers is the only oh. way to see this through. Yeah. Oh, we're going to call her. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Bringing you back live now. All Welcome right. back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's mm -hmm. almost over. Mm -hmm. But for now, mm -hmm. let's bring in our next caller. Okay. Give me a minute. Just try to get a sippy sippy of some drinky drinky here. Evening, okay. caller. I'm ready. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. Oh, John! Casey, I wanted to give you an update on Jason. Oh, please! John, is, is he going to be okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. Never had a doubt. Never had a doubt. We're 
preparing to move him to the hospital. Never had a doubt. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you hadn't been there, then... God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Give me my of treatment. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from I us. Like I did all the work. Whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Jason, awake already? Is this Forrest? Uh, Jason! Jason! I got the treatment! Jason. There it is! <laughs> It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? <laughs> oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg. You're fine. But John gave me something. Wait, it's still in your leg? So, I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> you don't. You don't feel better than me. I feel pretty good. Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But, uh, before that, I... I needed to call you. So I'm guessing the whistling man is still out there. Yeah, the person who stabbed you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. As far as we know, anyway. Well, I was worried you'd say that. God damn it. Yeah. Actually, I'm glad you called. I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. Oh yeah. Go for it. Was it a guy or girl? You spoke to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. You spoke to Ricky? Was he? Is he all right? He's fine. He is now. I mean. He was attacked earlier, but this call came after. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. Okay, put him on line, too. Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Okay. Mm, sure, Peggy. Okay. Sorry, Jason. Uh, where was I? Ah, yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. Okay. He told us about George. Let's get some happy sounds Sounds going. like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, oh, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. They're not. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything. Wait, what? I'd find myself in jail. Huh? For a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on. Like it never existed. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Who killed George? Who killed George that night? <sighs> Does he know? Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. Oh, snaps. We decided to plan a party in the woods and have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend at the party that night I left the group for a second met our whistling man pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone started an almighty panic those screams that was the last time I saw or heard George alive how did George die Jason I don't know I was playing dead wait but when I heard her scream... Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean? Oh, yeah. I guess George did call her that. Yeah. He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Her name was... What? M? What happened? Are we still on air? No. I don't think no, so. Oh, snaps. How do we get it back on? I don't, um... Oh, we can use the emergency generator down in the basement. Reggie picked it up a while ago in case we ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. An emergency broadcast? I want to get one in the dark! You know, nuclear war, alien attacks, broadcasting a serial killer... I got it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in the storage area in the far back corner. I know what it is! I don't know where it is. You might have spotted it earlier. I did. When you were digging around for all those tapes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. Copy. I'll see you when you're back. Okay, on the way. Wait, I should be... Someone cut the power. I should probably be careful. Right? I was going to say, maybe the, the killer now... Wait, what am I doing? The killer now... Is George's 
girlfriend going around killing everybody who pranked him? But then I, but then I thought George died too. The whistling man. So the whistling man. I heard a noise. Hello. Hello. Anybody down here? It's me. Just obesers coming on through. Nothing. I thought that was a pair of legs. Huh. Far back corner. Why is this station oh, this so big? I don't know, dear. You tell me. It's hard to see. It's very dark. Back here? I remember it, it must have been a thing that I thought I had to like recode this thing. It's gotta that be this. Must be it. Boom! We've got power. Okay. We're dead. What do I do? The whistling man. I need to oh. warn Peggy. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> forget about myself. Warn Peggy. I forget. Okay, I forgot Peggy's up there. This is fine. Right? Right? I hear footsteps. He's upstairs. Peggy, I'm coming. I'm on the way. I guess we're gonna about. I, I, I guess we're gonna find out who the whistle man is like right now. What the hell? What? If Peggy's dead, I'm gonna be so freaking upset. I'm gonna be so upset if she's dead. Her door's open. I'm saving the game. Oh no. Peggy, where'd you go? Oh my goodness, that scared me. Okay. What the? No way. This can't be happening. It's the whistle, man. Where's Peggy? A, a call. Well, uh, Peggy has a lot more buttons than me. Where's Peggy? Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. She better be alive. Tonight, almost the end of the show, but it's not over just yet. Got a little time still, so let's make the most of it. Oh boy! All right. All right. Let's. I'm happy to hear that. Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth and... The... You crazy Oh, snap, is Teddy? Let me go. Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows. Why are we going to the Teddy? Wait. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. Oh. Money in the world. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here? I'm supposed you? to delay her, remember? I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well, he knows he'll get it. Wait, then who's here? Wait, then who it's am I? It's not Peggy, right? Like? There's no way, right? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallant's Creek. To my boy, Henry Barrow. Uh, your son? Your son? You mean you... Wait, that, that he... Yes, Forrest. And I had a son. So there were two whistling men tonight. I, I called it! Of course. I called that it! explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. And that's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office. I don't think I've forgotten about that for us. So it's Dawn and her son. Locking my sweet boy away like an animal. And Murphy, he he was right, wasn't he? Oh. He did fight a man. He did. I taught my boy to never run away from a fight. Hang on. Did you say Barrel? That are you? Let me just get this mask off. Oh snaps? Oh wait, this is oh Dawn. Oh, oh never mind. Thing. I'm confused. This is Henry. I went crazy wearing this. There we go. 
Okay. Marie Cal. I knew it all along. George is a girl. I have no idea. Oh. Well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh God, damn it! Uh. <laughs> Quiet, Teddy. Quiet, if I were you, Teddy. Yeah, don't make a bad. Hey. Listen to Forrest. Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night, twenty years ago. Listen to me. You. Ah. You're gonna talk when I talk okay. to you. Okay. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. Oh, all right. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Okay. Oh, I'll do it. Okay, Marie, I'll do it. I gotta keep her talking, Good. remember, for the police to show up? Then let's talk about the night George was murdered. Murdered? Uh, listen, I... Teddy, you might just want to stop talking, buddy. I said it. you speak when you're spoken to. And that sounded gushy. Uh, now, I know you've done some good work tonight piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. Yeah. And that's why I want you to interview us. I uh, I can do that. Interview you. Uh, all right. Uh, I can do that. Thank you. I want you to help me and Teddy tell the story, Forrest. Do a good job. And hell, you can might I? be the only one to leave here alive. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we just told Teddy to stop talking. I need to drag this out. Oh yeah, see, he's, he said that. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to yep. Gallows Creek, and if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? Okay. It was 20 years ago. On, just be honest. Just tell the truth, right? I don't know if the, how important these choices are, so I'm I'm stopping to think about it for a minute. Teddy, be honest with me, or we're both going to die. Honest, Forrest, I'm trapped here with a psycho. <coughs> what the hell? God damn it! Okay. Our first team party was coming up, and when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Uh, okay, so it's gonna be Whistle and Night. That's the prank they pulled, right? It has to be this one. I'm gonna just, I think it has to be this one. I understand that kids in Gallows Creek know tonight as Whistling Night. I'm guessing that's what you mean? Well, we didn't have a name for it then. It was just the night that Mooney went missing. But Whistling Where's Night Peggy? is what they call it later. Where's Peggy? Wait. You mean this was the first Whistling Night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. Oh. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh... Uh, Happy birthday, Peg. There. Now you're a great aunt. Me, Jason, and oh. George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And Roller Ricky. He was there too, wasn't he? Yes, Ricky was there too. Runner Why did he flip the sofa for? Our wide receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know? Yeah. Because I'm a decent man. As so? I snoop around yes, Peggy's office looking is. for secrets. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. He wasn't stable. Okay, fair. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life. So That's fair. I helped him keep himself together. You, you were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. About midway through the night? We put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there. Jason? Bloody, like, he'd just been stabbed. Okay. And the whistling man. Screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. 
But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. Uh oh. I need to think. Uh, I need to think. Like, is it even possible for us to know this? Ricky didn't know. How would I? How would I know that? No, Ricky did know because he told us on the phone that there was a prank going on. Right? Did you ask him? Did you ask Ricky if he knew? We gotta keep him talking. We gotta keep I talking. I don't see any reason to. Why? Because Ricky phoned up earlier. Oh, he said he, he didn't, didn't know anything, anything about, about it. it Marie. Okay. What? He had no idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given everything away. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. He didn't I hope I'm doing this right. To tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still guilty. Yeah. It was just a stupid prank. Wait, hold on. Who am I telling to go to heck? Marie or Teddy? I definitely don't want her to hit him. But I don't want to tell the killer to go here either. I'm going to backsass Teddy. How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh, come on. I... Oh. God That damn sounded it. mushy. Wait, George, gushy. Not good. His best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding. Actually, and got him professional help just in time. She didn't kill oh. anybody tonight because I saved everyone. Oh. All right. Shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. No one's I died. That. I don't Been think so, buddy. Him. Me and George took off running, but somehow we got separated in the woods. Okay. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point, and when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me, I scream, and he starts laughing, telling me it's, it's just a joke. I could stall for time here. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna ask who was it? I hopefully she knows and she just tells me and I want to know. Who was it, Marie? Who was the Who was man? the original whistle man? I suddenly recognized it was Chuck, Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody. It was the whistling man. Was he he he's Laughing the guy who won the lottery? Away. But then he stops. And he's looking up. No, that was the prankster. Whistle man. What was he looking at? <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Oh my goodness. Nothing. I mean, it was just Teddy. George fell off whistling point. Sorry if I keep pausing between all these uh, questions. I just, I don't know. Where were you? Where was Teddy? How do you know he fell? Why he okay? So if I say where were you, I think it's gonna be. How do you know? Wait, how it might have been. Know what happened? It might have been. Why I did he fall? Saw it. You pushed him. You were up there. Oh. You were dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there, and he kept backing up. Well, when yeah. I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar. It's not my fault. Oh. He didn't know it was a joke. If he'd had any brains, he would have realized. <laughs> you bitch. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No one's going to believe this. So I gotta pick a... After all you did. Oh, jeez. How do I know? Like, how would I possibly know? Okay, so I was gonna think for a second. I believe her, which I, I actually kind of do. 
then why the cover-up? If it was an accident, why would you cover it up? Even if you didn't push him, you still caused his murder by pranking him. But why would you cover it up? Because you had witnesses there. Uh, Chuck was there. Uh, Marie was there. Why would you cover it up? Because you don't want to get in trouble, obviously, but it was an accident. It was an accident. And you have witnesses that could say, oh, he was just pulling a prank. Uh, oh. I feel like it's this one. If she's lying, why the cover up? My future was at stake, yeah. Ash. You know what it's like. People like us are bragged for bigger things. I'm going to be the mayor of this town. Oh, well, no. And then I governor. And then I don't know if that's going to happen, knows. Teddy. What happened that night was tragic. Agreed. It never have happened. Agreed. But it was a mistake. Yes. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. Right. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin my future? George was a blip? Oh, uh, he wasn't a blip. He wasn't a blip, Marie. Oh, I, I, I had a timer. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body oh, all my night. How long is this? Sandra I'm getting stressed out. Is it almost over? Morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's oh. dance studio? It's that doesn't sound familiar to me. Not Sharp. Answer the question? No, I don't think we're ever supposed to say hit him again. Are we? Answer the question. I'd answer the question. Just answer the question. Were you, Teddy. Answer the question, Teddy. Yes. Okay. We own the most of the town. I'm get, I get That's comfortable. It, then. Your father was going to run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir mm. instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings. Nothing to do with me. Hmm. The false reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews, too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but. Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Am I going good? Wrote a fake report. Teddy's still alive, so I must be. Drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And. I saw. I'm, it's, it's safe. I'm sorry. Or should I be saving? For Manually? all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. Uh oh. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. Okay. And her own. Even I need this. I need some still, I need some energy drink. She should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper. But no. That coward killed the story. <sighs> we'll take care of Maurice Russell later. Huh. Uh, these all sound like they're gonna be right. This has to stop. That would be a little commanding. If I was a murderer, someone says this has to stop, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, bet. And I'm going back out there. When will the killing end? You know, a lot of people ask me when I live stream, when will the stream end? And sometimes I get a little frustrated. I'm like, dude, I don't know. I don't read the future. But when people sympathize with me, oh, but you've been through heck. I mean, I haven't, but. I feel like that this would make me feel the less likely to kill someone and make me the most calm at the same time. You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. You've got no actually, idea. I might actually get upset Never if someone tried to... Ooh, hold on. Started. You shouldn't have pushed my door down. You should have been punished. Did I mess up? It's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here, where George and I first met, before he joined the football team, was right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. Okay. He, sh he, the winning throw.
Um. Hello? Where is Marie holding Teddy hostage? The throw would be... It was football, right? They played football. Chuck Brody was a football player. The football field. But they wouldn't hold him hostage outside. I gotta think. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I can't decide which one it is, so I'm just gonna, just in case. I, w I wanna say it's the football field because he was a football player. It makes no sense. But I want to say it's the school gym, which is most likely next to the football field, where um, that's probably where you would hold the freaking mayor. You wouldn't keep him outside where he could just yell. You would keep him indoors, and I highly doubt it's the roller rink. Although, I'm going to say school gym. Because that's what I would do. High in the gymnasium. That's right. Oh, but snaps! Not that it matters, but oh. yes. Oh, wait, what? We're here. Anyway... I got an achievement. Tope swings for Teddy. Wait, did I do good? Marie? Peggy? Oh my God. Wait, Peggy? Teddy? Teddy? You've got to help me. What's Wait. happening? Quiet. You'll talk more later. Now I have to talk to someone who mattered more than you ever did. Oh. Uh... Peggy. It's been so long since I've seen your face. Worried you wouldn't come. Please don't kill Peggy. Hey. Oh my god. I thought you And here I was thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. What? Sister? Sister? Peggy, what what's happening? Why are you even there? Wanna explain, Peggy? Just Earlier, while the you twist. were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out. That my sister is the whistling man. This is getting deep. This is getting deep. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me. That's true, I would have. Come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. I just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. She became a murderer. Disappeared. I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. Sorry. I never knew. This is a roller coaster. I, I can Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead, gone, oh, well. Yeah. You can't kill your mom and dad. They're already dead. So. I'll have to settle for the next best. No. Don't. <laughs> Wait. Do I just say don't? I don't want to be commanding. I'm going to say. I'm going to be commanding. Wait. Don't. don't. Marie, listen to me. You don't have to do this. Someone has to pay for what they did. Where, Marie, Peggy? Please. Don't kill Peggy. Mom and Dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. You forgot. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here on her desk. Look, what say card. The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say? Now you're great and eight. Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I. Look at me, huh? Well, I was I... just snooping. Oh, snaps. Oh, no. snaps. Henry, get out of there. Oh, snaps. Oh, snaps. Ah! Peggy. We have two wounded and we're in pursuit of the suspect. Henderson police. Oh, it sounds like they're behind me. Forrest! Leslie, how's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad, but we're here She's now. alive! I'll be okay. God, Marie! Hey, Zara! I got an achievement. I need you to look after Peggy. 
She needs help. Now. We got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. It's a sound? forest. <sighs> well, folks. We on the air the whole time? Night, uh -oh. We made it through together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. This is Ben. Forrest Nash. Uh It's been a scream. And it's been a scream. Is that it? Did I do it? I just got three achievements. The end question mark. Wait. Open the door to skip the epilogue and credits. Wait, can I turn this down? I want to turn this down. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. We got one of them. Wait. I'm the whistling killer right now. Right? Am I Marie? Right now? And look, these are all my victims. Oh, look, there's Peggy. There's Forrest. So we can kind of see what uh, the characters look like a little bit. Oh, that's super cool. Yo, neat. Where's Plunker? I don't see Plunker on here, y'all. Hold on. Oh, they're on Whistle and Point? Uh oh. Yeah, well, we're definitely in the killer's base right now because there's a mannequin head right there. Oh, snaps. It's going down. Oh, here we go again. Nobody else has to get hurt. <laughs> just, just rest of a shoot him or something. Oh, are they? Are they gonna? Are they saying killer frequency number two? <laughs> but we know who the killer is. It wouldn't be such a mystery. Wait, is it gonna come to the store? Is that my sweet baby boy? Was it Henry? Henry, you out there? Oh, wait a minute. That's it. So the killers get away. I assume. I just looked it up to see if there were different endings, and there are endings. Apparently, I got the best one. Yes, I did have to reload some saves to get it. Um, but I got the best ending. There's another ending for where only like I think one person dies, and then there's an ending if everyone dies. If y'all want to see it, let me know down in the comments below. We might come back to it and check it out. But uh, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did, and of course I'll see you all in the next video.